So you've tested your well water, and now you have a few questions about your test results. I'm Rebecca Lincoln from the Maine CDC, and this video will guide you through the information in your test results. It's important that you understand what your results are so you know if your water is safe to drink. But laboratory results can be hard to understand. When your water arrived at the lab, it went through several complicated tests. And now you have to figure out what it all means. Water test results are organized differently, depending on which lab you use and what you test for. But most results have information in rows and columns. There's a lot of information here. What you need to know is the result for each item you tested for and whether or not that result is above the health guideline. In this report, the column labeled parameter tells you what things were included in your water test, such as E. coli, coliform, arsenic, uranium, and fluoride. Some labs call these analytes, and some labs may call this column test or test description. The next column is probably labeled result. The information in this column tells you the amount of each parameter that was found in your water. For most parameters, your result will be a number. Results for bacteria tests may say present or absent, or positive or negative. You may also see the less than symbol in front of a number, which means that your result for that parameter is less than the level that the lab can detect with its equipment. Next comes a column with units of measurement. These are important to be aware of if you need to discuss your results with water treatment companies or other professionals. Now let's find out how to tell if your results are above any health guidelines. The health guidelines might be in a column labeled MCL, like this, or in a column called EPA limit, like this. Some results don't have a column for the health guidelines. No matter what, your report should tell you if any of your results are above the health guideline. Some labs use a star or asterisk. Some labs will use other symbols, such as a red X. And some labs will label the result unsatisfactory. In these examples, the result for uranium is below the health guideline, which is good, but the result for arsenic is above the health guideline. Now that you know how to read your test results, what do you do if some of your results are above a guideline? One thing you can do right away is switch to bottled water. This will give you time and peace of mind while you figure out what to do next. What you do next depends on what's in your water, how much you use the water, and who drinks the water. If you still have questions about your test results, call one of our water experts. We'll make sure you understand your results and talk through your options. You can also visit our website for more information about common well water problems. It's great that you've tested your well water. Make sure to keep testing every year for bacteria and nitrates, and do a full test that includes chemicals such as arsenic, radon, and uranium every three to five years. Testing is the only way to find out if your water is safe to drink.